Hello, welcome in my vineyard. So today we are not really in my vineyard, we are in my winery. So today we are here just to talk about one wine I like, which is a Bourgogne Les Charmes Chardonnay. We don't produce too much white at the domain, we produce four white, and this is one of the entry level white we produce at the domain. This wine comes from the Macon Luni, so the Macon area. It's about 60 kilometers from Nuit Saint Georges in the south side. So Luni, it's a village. It's planted only in Chardonnay and white wine, and we produce uh, this wine from a very specific terroir called Les Charmes. So we used to find this terroir also in Meursault, for example, Les Charmes, and the name of this terroir comes from a specific tree we used to find in the past in this area. This tree grow only on the limestone and clay soil. And in this area, we have a lot of limestone, quite a big limestone. It's a very white soil and south facing. So this situation, this location of this parcel offer always a very good uh, richness and density, a little bit more sweetness in the wine. And it's why that today we are here because we don't age this wine in the barrel, we age in a stainless steel tank. For a unique reason is because if you take this wine and you age in the barrel, you can have a, so a little bit more roundness bring by the, the oak. And we have enough roundness in this wine to don't add really much more roundness and softness bring by the bring by the oak. It's why to keep this wine for approximately 12 months in the in the stainless steel just uh, offer to this wine a little bit more freshness and tightness and keep the freshness of this terroir without to change the taste of the wine. It's why I prefer, um, we never have to use always some oak. If the wine don't need oak, we don't have to use it. It's not a region, it's just something we have to adapt and to balance with the quality and the texture of the wine. So in 19, the, we find the richness of the good vintage with also a nice maturity and we expect to bottling uh, just after Christmas so it's uh, in one month for us and uh, we expect to just uh, bottling with wine with just a little fining we don't use to make any fining in a wine because we don't like to do too much fining but for this wine it's very interesting because we give a little bit more precision in this wine and also a better length at the end of the mouth. So it's a wine we can drink easily after the bottling in the next two years after the bottling and it's always a wine very easy drinking and very approachable. Thanks to follow us, up to see you soon in our vineyard and next time it will be in our vineyard, I promise. Goodbye.